So, in order to do this, I have a few things that I want you to do. The first thing I want you to do is when I tell you to start, you're going to turn your paper over. You're going to complete the first two problems on the back of your page. During this time, you may work with other people around. You may work with one person, your partner to your left, um, to complete this activity. Your voices should be very low. I should not be able to hear you across the room. Only your partner should be able to hear you. When you are finished with this activity, put your pencil down so that when you're done. And we have a five minute time limit for this. Can I have somebody repeat back to me what we're going to be doing? Go ahead, Carlos. All right. You said when you say start, you need to the back and we'll do the first two problems. Mm -hmm. And you need two minutes to do it. Oh, five minutes to do it. Yeah. So what should your volume be? It should be at medium range. <laughs> at, a low, at a low frequency. Very good. <laughs> oh, I like that. It's oh, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Love it. Um, and what should you do when you're done? Put your pencils down. Very good. Put your pencils down so I know that you're done. You may go ahead and get started. Five minutes. You may work with your partner. And remember, you have your anger charts up front to help you. Carlos and Brandon's group is working diligently on the work right now, making sure that they have time to get through everything. Jose asked a very good question. He asked, how am I looking for the current for one resistor or the whole circuit? Okay. First off, what kind of circuit is this? Series. Series. So what do we know about current? It's going to stay the same. Very good. It is going to stay the same. I like that answer. Thank you for bringing it back from yesterday. You have three minutes left. Castro is doing a good job and a good sign.